Ah, so the weather's holding out today in between raindrops. Uh, we've been uh, putting the rest of the cabin framing up. And I show you what we got some so far. Uh, front walls up. And the window window is almost on center to the building. It's a little bit off, like a half an inch or something like that. Nothing big, um, but it worked that way. So we only went with one window um, instead of the two we wanted. Um, so we had this left side for this for the wood stove that will go in there someday. You know, may, maybe. Um, I've been hearing turkey. I heard another turkey in the distance. A couple. Uh, a couple of turkeys calling all over the place. There it goes again. But, uh, yeah, back to this. So we got the, uh, the framing all done. A lot of wood on that right side. Um, we tripled up on the right side, that'll be the hinge side. And then on the other side, doubled it up. And then we got the, the cripple in. So a lot of wood on both sides. Um, we're going to spend the rest of the afternoon is putting the angles in. We're not using plywood. And a lot of old buildings, you'll see this in, where they uh, cut cross pieces in and notch it right into the uh, studs, keep the building from racking. So we're going to put those all around now, and uh, that'll probably take us the rest of the day. Um, I put a, uh, was it, a extra nailer in over here on both sides so we have a nailing surface uh, put it in sideways like that so we can get to it get the compressor protected because it's been raining on and off all day but the yeah it's coming along oh we got the uh, back room here we're going to have like I said, uh, a loft area above and I'm not sure if you can see it but uh, we got using a 2x6 for the second um, portion of the uh, uh, the header, top plate, so that we can stack the 2x8s right on that for nailings. That should work out nice. We're probably not going to get to putting those up today. It'll be a miracle. So, let me get back to work. Because those uh, 45s are kind of a pain in the ass and we forgot our chisels, so it's even a bigger pain in the ass. Okay, back to work. Okay, so we got all the bracing in. Uh, there's uh, two on each wall except for the front wall because of the door. This has the one on the side. Um, kind of a pain in the neck to put in. Uh, it took us about three hours-ish to get them all in. But uh, they locked the building up tight. So uh, it doesn't, uh, doesn't flex a bit. Um, after we put those in. And the angles, they're all over the place. I don't think it really matters that much. Um, and we just kind of lined them up, trying to see where we wouldn't hit a nail in the, in the bottom or the side or in the window area. So we just went and uh, looked for an area where we could uh, get a good clear uh, straight line through. And uh, our openings are a bit wider at places than they probably should be, but it seems to be pretty tight, so... I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this in a long time. <laughs> I can see why. Plywood makes things a lot easier. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's it for today. I gotta run. And the weather held out most of the day after the morning raining that we had. Uh, we didn't get, uh... We got a lot of threatening. It looked like it would rain. Um, and every once in a while you get dark, overcast, high winds and they'll just go away. Uh, Weather-wise, besides you know, that morning rain, it was not half bad. It's probably around 60. Not too bad for working. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we have all the walls up now. Next, we gotta put the plate on the front, the second uh, two by four on the front there, and then finish off the ends. And then uh, after that, we'll be building the two by six beam that'll support the roof load um, 
and that'll hang over about a foot in the back. And we're thinking maybe hanging it over two feet in the front so the stairs are uh, underneath the roof. Um, we'll see. Uh, we got the roof, or we got the stair. Uh, we're using the pre made the Home Depot stair uh, pressure treated, already cut out things. So we got those, so we'll make some stairs because uh, they're starting to bug, bug our knees going up and down, um, you know, climbing in. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll get that beam up probably next week. The two beams up. Um, maybe get the uh, the two by eights that are gonna go across um, for the for the loft, and then we're gonna put one cross beam right here between the two windows that go straight across to keep the walls from bowing in or out, um, and then we'll notch it into the beam, uh, the roof beams. So you'll see what I'm talking about when I when I actually do it. Um, yeah, uh, and then yeah, you know, we were thinking about it. We framed the door opening so that we could actually put uh, um, you know one by material on the inside of the door. When we made this back door 36 inches, we made it 36 inches, so it's going to end up being a 34 inch door. Um, so that we can do the same thing here. Uh, we're making our own door for the interior one anyways, so it doesn't matter. Uh, what it, the actual opening is. Um, the two doors in the back, we'll, we're going to make both of those. Um, so the actual dimensions aren't totally critical. But uh, it's what it is. It's uh, it's funny, I tell people that uh, when I'm, people ask me how I probably build these things, if I have plans or anything like that. And no, not really. Just kind of play it by ear. And uh, every time you start building one of these things, about every step you go through, you think, Huh, I probably would have done that a little differently. <laughs> so someday, I'm hoping to actually at the beginning of it think of all those things that I think you know, now after I actually do them. Uh, a buddy of mine wants to build uh, a version of my pole barn and asked if I had plans. And I, I sent him to the videos on YouTube and I'm going to uh, have him come out here and take a look at it and then show him what I would do differently on that building, like raise the second floor roof a little bit because it wouldn't have cost really anything extra and uh, would have made it a little bit easier for uh, standing. Um, not that you really do much standing up there, but you know, if it doesn't cost much extra, you might as well do it. Um, yeah, some little things like that uh, I'll point out that I would have changed. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, that's it for this week. So until next week, thanks for watching.